Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, menopause, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and older. So this is part two of Cannabis and Creativity in the Wake and Bake um, hour here. <laughs> um, I decided to um, just sh keep showing you some of the stuff that I've uh, been making progress on. And if you check out my Instagram, my Facebook, you can see that I've posted photos and some video footage of a lot of the art that I've been working on. <clears throat> um, I'm, I've turned into a mixed media artist as I talked about a little bit at the end of... Um, part one. <laughs> um, I used to be just primarily, when I first started off, um, I used to draw. Um, that's how I started off. As a kid, I was drawing a lot. <clears throat> and um, then I started taking art classes in high school um, my junior year and my senior year. I, took, I was able to take my first art classes, formal art classes, and um, it really helped. And then after I got out of high school, um, I went to a community college and I took some art classes there. Um, those art classes didn't really help me. Um, the teachers, it was really a messed up situation as far as that goes. I felt like, when I look back on it, I feel do feel like the teachers were treating me a certain way because I look a certain way. And that's really fucked up. So anyway, um, I've since, you know, resolved that in my mind and how I feel about that. So it's not anything I preoccupy my mind with too much, but, you know, look back on it, you understand things more. Um, <clears throat> I was a little more, I felt like, naive and not really seeing a lot of what was going on in front of me. Really trusting of people that weren't trustworthy back then, so, yep. So here we go. I'm gonna grab this. I've been smoking on uh, banana glue, like I told you guys about, on part one. And I have a review of banana glue too. So, yep. Mhm. Mm it is very uh, boozy smelling. That's one thing I have to say about it. It is kind of like a very ripe banana. If you like left a banana in the car and you forgot about it, and it turned black. It was like a boozy banana smell. <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's see, let's put this baby right next to me here. Alright. Hope everybody's having a good day. <laughs> and if you're not, I hope that my videos here today and any other day can help you realize that there's a way to um, release that energy that's really... Um, leaving you depleted and when you can do that then you feel a lot better yeah when I'm without her um, I go through some really intense times stress wise and I have I'm I allow myself to feel how I'm feeling and then I um, process a lot of how I'm feeling in art. So <clears throat> it's very therapeutic. And more and more people are realizing that as time goes on. That and it doesn't matter what level you, you think you're at as far as art goes. Art is expression, pretty much. So, cheers. Oh, yeah, that's better. Okay. So, other projects, other things I wanted to show you. Um, there's another drawing, um, or two drawings that I was doing, um, and I'll show you. Here's one that I, I did. <laughs> it's like two skeletal, a conjoined skeletal being with the... <laughs> 
with a cricket in the middle standing on top of a cell phone that's connected to them. <clears throat> that's, that's, um, <laughs> I had gotten this offer to, uh, design, uh, do a design for this company called Cricket, which is connected with the 5G phone type stuff. And, um, I was asked to do that, but I didn't have any time to do it because I've been, I've been doing so many things, trying to get, you know, disability done, trying to do this. I couldn't, I had no time to just stay there for like an hour and do this. Um, but so, <laughs> I draw, drew up a design with just the cricket on top of the phone and like, oh, that's not quite what we wanted. And they showed me, it was like some cartoon, uh, like character thingies and I was like, oh my God. So anyway, <laughs> that didn't really uh, work out for me, but they were really nice and because I was going through a lot of stuff. I would have done it, but I had so much of a busy schedule of things that I was doing. So I didn't really have time to to go over there and, and do that. But this is what resulted of that. I decided to put this in with it, <laughs> add on to what I had here originally was just the cricket <laughs> and the phone. <laughs> Now it's the conjoined twins with the skeleton heads, uh, female. Um. <laughs> yep. I was really frustrated that day when I added this into it. And, but, yep. <clears throat> That's why I say when you are frustrated with life, um, art can be very, very helpful for you. To take you... Um, into an understanding of what's going on with yourself when things happen. When things go wrong, you know, sometimes, or when you think they go wrong, there's a reason why things go the way that they do. You know, I don't think that there's anything, any wrong in the path that you're on. I think you have to see it for what it is and learn from it. It's, life is all about experiences. That's all there is to it, so... And here's a, one more drawing I want to show you um, for this show. Let me take a, um, take a tote though first. So one more drawing I want to show you. Oh, this happens to be on top of the drawing. I'll just show you this, too. <laughs> it's a little drawing I did. It's kind of coming apart. And a lot of these drawings are coming apart. I've been gluing onto handbags. Believe it or not, you can glue... Well, let everybody know this, because this is a technique. It's not like... I don't know if it's an original thing. But it's what I've been doing. And um, I take my old drawings and I glue them onto my handbag. But there's a specific type of... Uh, sealant that I use in order to fix them on and it ends up feeling the texture of like leather in a way so um, the drawing itself ends up feeling like the texture of le leather and I'm going to show you that project in just a bit that um, is going that I've got going on too with that but here's uh, <clears throat> a drawing the drawing that was on top of the one I wanted to show you <laughs> I've since like been trying to like not trying, I've been moving on to using uh, better paper because this is just typing or printer paper that I put this drawing on to. <clears throat> but yeah, this is probably, this is going definitely going to go, I can also mount it on Masonite board too, um, which is something that an, an art, another artist told me about a long time ago. It was a very helpful tip with the. Uh, drawings that I do that are like this on paper that, that's not that great. It can be mounted on masonite board using the sealant that I was talking about. But yeah, it'd be nice to have this on like some, or find a piece of wood and, and affix it on there and you can hang it up. And what I also thought about doing like, um, I thought it'd be cool with some of these drawings, um, to fix it onto wood and then put my sealant on it and then uh, broken glass pieces on top of it, you know? Uh, but I have to be in an environment where I can break glass and stuff and, you know, not worry about anything. Like, I used to do stuff like that when I 
when we were renting a house and we had the space in the backyard to do that kind of stuff. So, but yeah, here's another drawing that I've been working on. <laughs> I've been working on this one for a bit. Uh, yep. <clears throat> it's pretty much, uh, to me, this one is really conveying uh, what's going on in the world right now. You know, it's like whatever you can do to get get to where you need to go. Um, this is like the spirit of uh, the past coming back to you and uh, letting you know that they're there to protect you. This is the, the pentagrams are for protection. The heart, because I rule the heart chakra. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's just putting elements of myself in there and elements of what is being channeled through to me when I create art. Um, in different moods, I create different types of art. When I'm more lighthearted, you can tell by the art. When I'm having some extreme um, things going on, it reflects in the art that I'm drawing. Like this one, for instance. And just because the one in the back has black eyes doesn't mean that it's evil. <laughs> so, yep. But this is one I've been working on, and I'm debating on whether or not I want to, um, whether or not I want to in incorporate some oil paint, not oil paint, uh, watercolor paints, because this is on watercolor paper. Like uh, a lot of the newer the pieces that I've been doing, I'm drawing so. But yeah, this one's coming along really well. Um, go to my Instagram and my Facebook and you'll see uh, more of my art and the process uh, or the, you know, the progress that I've made on it. So. But yeah, I love, I love uh, to draw. <laughs> always have, always will. Uh, I'll show you one more drawing. <laughs> So you see the, I'll, I'll show you two more drawings, so you see the difference in all the stuff that I bring forth. These are, the, pe the beings in these drawings are messengers coming forth. Here's another one. And it's kind of dark and it's hard to see it completely. I might end up putting this back onto a profile pic for uh, my Instagram and my Facebook. I like using my art better as profile pics. I used to use my photo of myself, but I stopped doing that because I end up attracting the wrong kind of people to my social media. So I think I prefer to use my art instead. This is another one. See, there's a difference in the energy of each one. This one is definitely a little bit lighter, but still powerful. There's the pentagrams for protection. Um, the eyes, all seeing eye. Or evil eye, keep away. The spirals, the triangles. Um, yep. And the skull and crossbones. This one isn't done yet, but I'm still working on it. Um, the problem, too, with me, with I need to get a different type of paper because, uh, then watercolor paper, because obviously I'm, I'm digging in too deep with the face, and it's kind of like. The paper is going to get worn. So, but when I put the sealant on it, it seems to. Um, that was just my notifications on Facebook. Anyway, the sealant um, seems to repair any of that. So I have to be careful not to dig too deep into this type of paper with pen and colored pencil. <clears throat> um, and it'll help if I can get like a, um, a felt tip pen again. I've been using ballpoint pen again. But I think felt tip pins is the way to go for me with this. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is another piece. So if there's different different beings coming forth, depending on what I am dealing with within my world. And uh, a lot of times I, I pick up on things that other people are, are having trouble with and needing help with. So um, yeah, and you got the serpent around her... Um, right underneath her breasts and coming towards her waist. 
Um, once again, protection. I don't see the snake as something evil. I think the snake is very protective symbol. And it was before in, um, in spirituality all over the world, but like I said, a lot of these symbols have been, you know, perverted and made, or made to feel like they're evil and they should be, you know, not used at all. Just like the pentagram has been. Upside down, right side up. It's been uh, made to seem like something that is something you should not use. You should not, you should be wary of if someone is wearing a pentagram on them or it's a star. You know, it represents the elements is what it does. So, that's another piece I haven't finished yet. <laughs> Shit, I'll just show you one more. <laughs> Why not? This to be all about drawings. <laughs> and then, uh, here's this one. This one started off differently. It started off, I was thinking of a certain person and I thought, oh, I'll just draw this person and see if I can do it from my memory. And then it's turned to looking like someone else. And then all of a sudden I started doing the webbing on the face like that. And what's weird is that when I was on Instagram, um, I had put photos of this uh, drawing up and then with the webbing on their face and all that. And the next thing I know, this one of these models this shows up on it. She's like a goth model type deal. Pretty cool. Um, I think her name's Avoid Everyone. Then all of a sudden I saw her with the netting, like netting on her face, like one of her photos. So I don't know if she's following me or not, but that's just, just kind of weird how that kind of mirrored what I'm doing. I did this first and then she, <laughs> not saying she copied me, but it just kind of was weird how that worked out. But this is, uh, yeah. This is kind of representation of what I am seeing here at this uh, apartment complex in this place, this area. There's a lot of a lot of things that can't be seen easily. They're hidden. You know what I mean. So a lot of uh, succubi um, in the mix here and. That seems to be prevalent in this world right now. The succubus energy. Wrapping you up into um, a vortex of, um, of crazy. So, this one's not quite done yet. I just need to, I think I want to uh, put color into the snakes. The snake and the, and the females hidden within the snakes. I began to do that, see, with this one. Yeah. There you go. But yeah, there's more than meets the eye to my art. When you look closer and closer, you'll see more and more things going on. So. And she's kind of having a more of a reptilian uh, vibe to her. Uh, with her eyes, her pupils. One eye kind of open more than the other. So yeah, pretty fun drawing. <laughs> so I'll, I'll make a part three and I'll show you the other projects that I'm working on. Um, not quite awake, not quite baked. <laughs> so um, but yeah, I look forward to showing you some more stuff in part three. So. Let me have a talk and let you know that I really appreciate each and every one of you for coming by and checking out my art, going on my Instagram, going on my Twitter, my Facebook, yeah, Spacebook, <laughs> going on my, my Facebook. I really appreciate each and every one of you supporting my art in any way that you do, whether you go and just visit my art and comment, whether you purchase it on my Etsy shop, whether you ask me for a commission, I appreciate all of the help. Because um, I'm really trying to, well, not trying to, I am really working towards um, something big, you know. Being able to afford to have my own uh, art studio would be wonderful. But first and foremost, uh, moving out <laughs> of this apartment complex is the first step. <laughs> and thank you guys for helping me so much. So join me in part three. 
and I'm gonna show you some of the handbags I've been working on and some of the dolls I've been working on um, to get finished to put on to my Etsy shop so thank you for joining me if you want to donate go to my PayPal Google Pay or my GoFundMe in exchange for a donation I can create a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork for you or I can create a video based on a topic of your choosing with that said British blessings to you all and I will see you soon on part three ow <laughs> Jesus they don't break my tooth <laughs>